Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for April. Okay, so what do we have for Aries for April? Now, keep in mind that not every reading is for you, right? There's a little disclaimer at the end of every reading. <laughs> Anyhow, what do we got for Aries? Mm. Power. This is the strength card. Okay. So it's a card. It's time of strength and inner power and discipline and um, mastering. I mean, this is a card of mastering yourself, uh, replacing fear with faith in some way. Now, eights are a number of change in abundance. So I think there's an opportunity for abundance here, but you may need to be courageous. You may need to do something. You may need to find your inner power, your courage, your confidence, your willpower to master your emotions in some way and do something, okay? That is a card of courage. So there's something that you need to be courageous about, okay? You need to find your courage to do something. Um, it's a card of strength, right? You're obviously going to need to be strong. Okay. Hill. Uh -huh. Obstacle to overcome. So there's going to be an obstacle. You're going to have to climb some freaking hill. Right? It's not going to be easy. Maybe some blood, sweat, and tears or something like that. There's an obstacle that needs to be overcome. You're going to be dealing with it in April. It's going to take strength and perseverance. I already saw that. Mm -mm. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. So there's a chain of events. There's something that is happening that is going to change your life. Strength is going to be needed. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom because you got this last time. Door door so there's a door that's closed are you ever going to go through that door or are you too afraid because that's about replacing that fear with faith and going through that door right that door is closed right now okay the door is closed you have to overcome some sort of obstacle my my guess is it's fear <clears throat> what do we got for aries Obviously, there's going to be an event that brings about an obstacle which forces you to find some inner strength to overcome it. Oh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Speeding causes accidents. So there's a need to slow down. You know, this card says it all. It says it all. It says so much. There is definitely a need to slow down. This is about self-control as well so you may need to have some self-control during this time <clears throat> there's a need for restraint or maybe you've been restraining yourself and you need to let go of your fear anyhow what do we got for Aries Six, six, six. Six, six, six is not a devil number, okay? It is if, if you allow it, if you remain in a toxic situation. Six is the journey to balance and harmony. It is. It's a time of transition. This is the rite of passage. This is breaking free from that devil energy. That's what 666 is, okay? You must be in a toxic situation, right? You must be in a situation that is bound, that is unhealthy, right? It's time to get your life back on track. It's time to remove yourself from that situation. It's time to get a move on. <clears throat> this is breaking free from toxic energy, from conflict. Fives are conflict, right? Competition, power struggles. It's time for a change. It's time for you. This is the rite of passage to go towards peace and harmony. This is traveling, right? Traveling. It's time for you to travel. It's going to take courage by the looks of things. 
But you are headed in the right direction because that is what 666 is. Six is getting out of that five energy. It is getting out of the conflict, getting out of the competition. It's all done playing games. It's all done fighting. Sixes are better than fives because you're headed towards peace and harmony and a better place. This is going to a better place. It's moving to a better place. That's what sixes are. People have that misconception, you know, because it's been sold widely that it's a devil number, right? People that just don't know, they just fell for that, right? It is if you want to be in the toxicity, you know, you want to remain in that situation. Of course, the choice is always yours, right? Mm -mm. You will be attending a get-together soon. You will be attending a get-together soon. Hmm. What do we have for, wherever, whatever this get together is, it does bring peace and harmony, okay? It's a peaceful transition. <clears throat> there is going to be some sort of event that is an obstacle, but you will overcome it because you're strong. <clears throat> Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus. This is, or you know, this is God. It's a higher power involved. This is the highest authority. Higher power, giving you strength. This is a higher power. It's guidance. It's a teacher. It's a commitment. It's divine guidance. This is a direct connection to God. So, so we have a channeler here, or somebody that has a direct connection to God. There's a need to have faith. You need to have faith. This is, you know, somebody needs to have faith. They need to have faith. They need to believe that they are strong enough, that they need to let go of their fear. It's time to commit yourself to that higher path, to going in that new direction. You need to have faith. You need to believe. Mm -mm. Three of swords. Now, three of swords is heartache. It's heart pain. It's suffering. Separation or a loss, grieving over a separation or a loss. I don't know if somebody's done something stupid, they did something without thinking, now they're grieving over a loss. Everything happens for a reason. The Hierophant is that highest authority that guides, you know, brings the guidance that makes things happen. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this is hurting. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is this is a teacher. This is this is a god or a higher power. That's guidance here, guiding you to be strong. Take back your power. Did you speed into something with somebody? That's what it looks like to me. Anyhow. <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles reversed. Unstable, insecure, money hungry, greedy, selfish, possessive. Mm, unstable, emotionally unstable. There's somebody here that's emotionally unstable. That could be one person, money in it, just for the money. Money hungry. You got a money hungry individual here, right? You will be attending a get together soon. Queen of Pentacles reversed. There's some sort of. Uh, Greed here. We got somebody here who's really in their emotions. They're not very grounded either. They, they, there's some sort of, a, it's definitely emotionally, there could be some heartbreak here, suffering. There is a transition. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. She's, she's probably not given nothing, okay? She probably shut right down any of her bank accounts or anything like that. Or, you know, or she's very greedy. You know, she's not given nothing. Um, mm. Ah, no, the Nine of Pentacles is independently owned and operated, living a very good life. This is somebody that is a very single, independent, uh, looking good, feeling good, uh, has a lot, very abundant. So we definitely have a very independent, abundant person that may not be giving out any of her money for some reason hmm. 
queen of and it could be a male or a female queen of pentacles reverse not putting in any effort we may have somebody here just deciding to focus on themselves they're going to focus on their business they're going to focus on themselves they're going to focus on you know their own abundance their own job their own career that or their own self you know maybe we have somebody here that didn't know their value this is a queen this is this is like i don't know my value but this is uh the ultimate value right it is this is like self-value self-worth uh working hard persevering starting a business some of you may be starting a business or you have the you are capable of starting your own business or going your own way this is an independently owned and operated individual who is stable solid and secure <laughs> queen of pentacles in reverse is like i ain't giving you nothing not a dime <clears throat> without a commitment anyway Anyhow, something about a commitment. Anyhow, <laughs> sorry, this this is about commitment. This is about believing. There's something about commitment. We may have somebody here that married just for the money. These are, or they're in a commitment just for the money. These are mir these are mirroring each other. This is a commitment. This is all about the money. That sucks. But it is a time of transition. Maybe we have somebody here that is listening to their heart. They're listening to their intuition. Their intuition. This is guidance. This is the highest power. This is the highest authority. Authority. This is guidance. Divine guidance. Somebody is being divinely guided to find their strength. To find their inner power. To listen to their heart. To follow their heart. There's obviously a heartbreaking situation here. There's suffering. There's pain. Somebody sped into something. It's time to transition. It's time to go. It's time to move on. Mm. Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's she's uh, not investing. She's investing in herself. She or he. So I don't know. Maybe you're deciding just to invest in yourself, or you're dealing with somebody that's like, I'm investing in myself. This is self. Whoever this person is, this person's strong. The same card. This one's just labeled, labeled power, named power, whatever. Same card. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower. A need to uh, do something for yourself. You need to do something for yourself. And this hasn't been, somebody here hasn't been practical. They haven't been realistic. They haven't been grounded. Somebody hasn't been grounded. There's a need to find that courage to invest in yourself. Damn. But there's greed here. I know that there is. I do know. There's greed. There's materialism here. Somebody needs to stand in their power. They need to stand in their power. They need to get a move on. They need to, they need to listen to their heart. They need to choose... Uh, Love over money. You've been talking about this a lot. It's going to take courage. Maybe somebody needs to let go of something, you know, that isn't solid, that isn't stable to have that ultimate abundance. You know, the strongest, and, I, and, I, and this is the truth, okay, the strongest people are single. This is strong and this is single. Single, independent, strong. You know, it takes a very strong person to take care of themselves, right? That's somebody that's not codependent. You will be attending a get-together soon. Some of you, if you are single, say you're single. You may not be single for long, okay? Because this is a commitment, okay? This is a commitment. This is like single. You will be attending a get-together. This is looking really, really, really good. So there's somebody here that looks really, really good. Ah! Sound effects. Always. Anyhow, the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a power struggle. Remember I said fives aren't good. Fives are not good. This is a fight. It's a battle. This is walking away from a an abusive situation. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is a conflict. It is a power struggle. It is. And it hurts. This is painful. It's painful. So there's a lot of suffering here. There's fighting. There's hostilities. It's like this is a lose-lose situation. It's like nobody wins. 
Nobody's winning, but we got a cocky individual who thinks that they're winning. This is somebody that thinks that they're winning, but nobody wants to deal with them anymore. Nobody likes that person anymore. Um, so this is definitely a conflict. So there is, there's a heartbreaking, I feel like this is a severing of ties. Somebody is walking away from an abusive situation. That's what this is. It's heartbreaking. There's heartbreak here. This is going to a better place though. Mastering emotions. I feel like somebody is going to be mastering their emotions. They're going to take, be taking back control and they're moving somewhere. That's that sixes is moving. It's like going. It's like I'm going to a better place. Somebody's really going to be focusing on themselves. Congratulations. I mean, that's great. Death. Death is the end. That is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. I mean, death is the end. That is, the, I mean, we all, I mean, come on now, you could look it up. Death is the end. It's the end of a chapter. It's the end of a journey, right? It's the end of a situation. It's a separation or a loss. It's going to, and you are going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to find the strength to deal with this ending that leads to a new beginning. Um, there's perseverance here. I mean, that nine of pentacles is abundance, okay? It is abundance. To have the abundance that you are seeking, you have to be practical. You have to be realistic. In reverse, the queen of pentacles, and that could be you. It could be anybody. It just gives me the, when the card comes out, gives me the message. It's somebody that's not being practical. You know, they've been holding on to something just for the money. But it's, it's better to be happy and live a good life. That's where the abundance really lies. The, abundant li the abundance lies in having a good, happy, peaceful, joyful life. It's not in the bank account. Anyhow, death is the end. It's the end of a journey, right? It's a separation or a loss that leads to a new life. So something is coming to an end. And there has been a lot of hostilities and heartbreak. There's a higher power involved that is giving you some sort of strength to move on from a situation. Um, you're going to have to be strong, okay? Because this is like a need to master your emotions. Some of you may be becoming single, right? If you're not becoming single, you could be getting, I mean, this could go either way. This could be from single to a relationship. This is single though, but there's going to be a change because death is change. That's the meaning of the card as well. It's change. It's profound change. So there's a change that is coming in which you're going to have to be very strong and courageous. Oh. severing ties this is severing ties it hurts it hurts being divinely guided to go i mean good luck